Well, good afternoon, and welcome to the Johnson Sports Center. I'm Rob Adani. Joining me today would be Noah Peterson. I think uh, Brent will be showing up a little bit, maybe right at game time. But uh, it's an afternoon game here at the Johnson Sports Center on the campus of Northwest Nazarene University. We don't do a lot of these. And we welcome in the Central Washington Wildcats. Uh, your Nighthawks currently are sitting at 7-8 and eight overall this season in 4-4 four and four in conference play, just right below Central. Um, who got leapfrogged last week by Anchorage when Anchorage went into Ellensburg and beat the Wildcats. Um, last Saturday, the ladies went up against an aggressive Anchorage, Alaska Anchorage team, and then you showed up for that matchup in the first and second quarters. Uh, they went on a 14-10 um, lead, but your Nighthawks went on a 9-3 run to go up at the end of the first quarter, 19-17. The second quarter was much the, uh, much the same, and we led going into half 33-31. But the second period, after uh, Erty Matty Gaber's layup, the Sea Wolves' tenacious defense <laughs> then went on a 12-0 run, taking the lead 43-35. Your Nighthawks would not go away, as you know it's accustomed to a Steve Steele uh, team, and they clawed their way back to end the quarter 48-43. Again, the start of the fourth period, the Sea Wolves went on a 16 to six run, and that kept the Nighthawks at bay most of the rest of the way, and outscored the Nighthawks 31 to 20, and ended the game 79-63. A big key for this game um, was turnovers. The Nighthawks committed 36 turnovers. That led to 40 points. And talking with Coach Steele, said, man, if we would have cut that in half, you know, there's 36 points towards us if we you know, score on each one of those, but uh, something that they're going to have to get work on today against the very good Central Washington team. Matty Gabers was the leading scorer again for your Nighthawks. No one else scored double figures. She's uh, Matty scored 26 points, and uh, again, overall, the Nighthawks really didn't shoot the ball too terribly bad. 40% from the field, 41% from three-point range, and 82% from the charity stripe. And again, speaking of Maddie Gabers, uh, recently came out that she is right now sitting at the number one spot in the NCAA Division II for three-point shooting percentage at 53.1%. Again, great effort by the newcomer Maddie Gabers. Um, tonight will be a difficult game. This afternoon, excuse me, will be a difficult game against the Wildcats. They're on a four-game win streak, and they're 14 to six overall, five and three in conference play. And uh, I know that uh, we will have to play some of our best basketball again today. And uh, with that, we get an insight to what's coming our way uh, with the uh, Central Washington Wildcats. Noah, go ahead and take over. Thanks, Rob. We've got a couple real high volume scores uh, here for the Wildcats. They have two of the top 30 scores in the entirety of NCAA Division II uh, this year. Uh, first up is Asher Kai. She's averaging 19.7 points per game. To go along with nine for rebounds and 2.3 assists per game, shooting 86% from the charity stripe. Very, very well-rounded player. She's one to watch. Another one is going to be Sunny Huerta. She's averaging 18.7 points per game. That's good for uh, 26th in the nation. Mm -hmm. Really high volume score, 83% uh, from the charity stripe. Some other players to watch. Um, it's going to be Carrie Sims. Um, she is the GNAC leader in offensive rebounds. Um, really crashed the board super, super hard, averaging four rebounds a game. Eight points, eight boards to go along with it. Going to be really, really key for the, for the Nighthawks to box her out today. Um, circling back to, back to Asher Kai, she's a big-time shooter. Talking to Coach Steele before the game, um, high volume, 34%. Isn't a crazy high percentage, but she, she shoots a lot of them, and when she makes them, the Wildcats run, and that, she's kind of the engine that uh, that makes them go. And so, really, the, the key players to focus on are going to be Sunny Wetha and Asher Kai. High volume scores, very, very well rounded. It's going to be a challenge for the Nighthawks today. Yeah, I think uh, again, you mentioned talking to Coach Steele. I think what uh, one of their goals are going to be is to really put you know that little spark plug Emma Clark on Sunny and kind of you know harass her a little bit, see if we can disrupt her. Her uh, aggressive shooting and her, you know, get her out of her game a little bit. And then uh, I know that uh, Emma gets a little tired. Guess what? We got another Clark sister stepping in 
and taking care of that uh, in Kate. So, again, uh, we are excited to have you with us today. Also excited to have uh, alumni on. We have about 130 alumni that came uh, came here today to watch both the ladies and the guys. So uh, we are excited to have them back on campus. Last time they were on campus was around homecoming time, but it's always good to have them back on on campus and uh, seeing what's going on here at NNU. A lot of great things happening. And again, we're, we're happy that, that you're here joining us today. 115 tip off. We'll be back with you after the invocation, national anthem, and the starters. Thanks again for joining us. And again, welcome back to the Johnson Sports Center. Good to have you with us here at the afternoon tip-off. We don't do many of these, but uh, it's really nice to have you with us. Again, we do welcome also our alumni that made it here to campus. 
Got 130 alumni coming for this afternoon, watching the, the ladies and the guys play a little bit later after this game. Getting ready for a tip off right now, Kendall Clark. Tipping off against Capri Sims. Again, as Noah said, she's a GNAC leading rebounder. And we're underway. Brent, nice to have you with us. Brent Peterson joining us. Happy belated birthday, by the way. Thank you very much. I guess to you and your sister, huh? That's true. Yeah. Underneath, traveling. Yeah, a really important matchup today. Both these teams in the center of the uh, GNAC um, standings. Uh, opponent we know well. And it's going to be a hard-fought game, I'm sure, all day. Fascinating two kids from Cashmere, Washington, a very small high school. My wife was close to them in Leavenworth, so yeah. kind of I'm sure they know each other well. You think the parents back in Kashmir got together for this one? Hopefully they so. They ah, said that would be a great thing I'm, to do. I'm sure they know each other. Um, I'm not sure with the, the year in school of the central player, but, yeah, it's kind of fun. Kashmir is a very small little town in uh, central Washington. Yep, she's a sophomore. Again, tough defense by Cammie Kanishka. Oh, good Caprice, poke away there. Yeah, Capri Sims. Good defense so far. Yeah. Kendall's playing her tough. Nice defense and a four shot. No easy looks today. Hopefully the Nighthawks can keep that up all game long. Hillary James on the drive. Yeah, I love that aggressiveness there going hard to the hole. Well, that's such a great couple defensive possessions too. Being aggressive early, refusing to let them get anything in the paint. It's going to be important as we continue on today. Absolutely. James inbounding the ball. Out to Kendall. Kendall right hand to drive. Nothing there. Give and go back to her sister. Steps back. Jumper. Good. Yeah, nice give and go there. Great, great shot. Open look. Great, great offensive possession there. I met Mr. and Mrs. Clark right before the ball game. They stopped in to say hello, as did Mrs. Brugman and Maddie Gaber's dad, Boyd. Nice to have them in the house today. Nighthawks pushing the ball. Tough down underneath to Gaber's. Yep. Oh, tough yeah. look there. A little strong off the glass there. I love the look. A little bit lighter than the touch you to put that in. I think Kendall was surprised she was as wide open as she was and rushed it a little bit. Also, it seemed Noah, she was ready for some contact that wasn't there. Yeah. And sometimes your body just travel. Kind of, boy, again, that's two travels and four trips for the uh, Central Washington Wildcats. You know, I was talking to Coach Steele before the game, and, you know, Cammie, I know, is a little bit disappointed in her offensive play this year so far, but... When you can contribute on the def defensive side and cause two turnovers and see if we can turn those into points, that is helping your team in all areas. Tough shot. Well, no let them, call. Letting them play there. I think it was probably the right call. Turnover, possibly there for your Nighthawks. That's should, a foul. Yeah, the foul. There you <laughs> go. Is that on number one? That's her second personal for... Annalie Coronado, she checks out, checking in. Malia Smith, in the game for the Malia Smith checking in for the Wildcats. Well, I'm sure you mentioned their pregame. I think one of the best halves of the entire year was against the Alaska Anchorage. It's and a great uh, pass right there. Great give and go. Cammy, nice roll in there. And I think hopefully they can build off that. Second half wasn't as strong as, as uh, Fairbanks. I think that first half, a lot to build on there uh, against one of the best teams in the GNAC. There's some great side help there. And again, to your point, Cammie again on that tip out rebound there, contributing on both ends of the ball. Hillary court. James will step back and jump her good, about a 15 footer. I love the confidence, Rob, I'm seeing that the women play with right now. There's a lot of confidence on both ends of the ball. Really strong play on both ends. Yeah, before you got here, Brent, oh, there's a travel out of bounds. Yep, there we go. Another turnover by your Nighthawks. Well, and that was a Euro step. The defense was too good, and she kind of lost her balance, so it was the right approach there. Yeah, in the pregame, uh, both Noah and I were talking after we talked to Coach Steele that uh, Emma Clark is going to be like a bee going to honey uh, all over Sunny to get her out of rhythm, and we've noticed that a couple times. Kendall on the drive. Up and good. Yeah. Great aggressive. Time out by the Wildcats. It's all of a sudden an 8 0 game right there, man. On both ends of the court, we're uh, dominating. 
I think that that's one of the, the keys. Get up early, play that great, tenacious defense, and, uh, you know, make some great shots, make some good quality shots, and don't turn the ball over. We talked about that again in the early uh, early part of the, the broadcast, that, you know, 36 turnovers turning into 40 points against Anchorage, that does not help. But if you can turn the opponents over 36 times, that will help. So... Well, again, part of the issue we had there against Fairbanks is the first half we were even on turnovers virtually. Second half, we just committed tons of turnovers, and they didn't, and we lost the game on turnover battle there. By the way, I saw this week that Matty Gabers, we mentioned in the pregame, number one in the nation on three-point efficiency. So yeah, 53.1%. That and is I, phenomenal. And I think she was like six for ten in our game on the other night. It was something like that. Maybe it was six for eight. Six for eight? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it was just um, – and it was, they were stroking them in, so good for her. You guys were on the call that night. I took a little bit of a leave of absence, but did tune in and listen to you. Thanks for covering against the Anchorage team. That was really a great game. I mean, yeah. the, the first half was phenomenal play. Second half, they just were relentless, and we couldn't keep up and got tired and just too many turnovers there. But I, I really thought, Noah, that first half was one of the best halves we've seen all year. Yeah, and really they were going back and forth in terms of really forcing turnovers on both ends in that second half. And he knew wasn't able to force as many turnovers as they converted, and that was where the, the Anchorage League grew a little bit. Yep. All right, Sonny controlling the <laughs> offense for the Wildcats. Back up top to Smith. Smith back over to Kai. Nothing there, a little give and go. Another travel. Great, another great defensive oh, look rotation at that. by the Nighthawks. That's got to be three that, in the key. That is three in the key. There we go, great call. Yeah. Well, and another turnover. Well, the Nighthawks are really feeding off that defensive energy right now. Exactly. You, can, you can feel it early, and really great teams are going to feed off of their defense on the offensive end. And so the more momentum that yeah. they build on defense, it's going to pay off on both ends of the floor. Yeah, no, you can feel that confidence on the court right now on both ends. And I agree that defense is leading the way. Wow, Hillary wow. James. Come on. Nothing but net. Boy, a lot of confidence right now by the Nighthawks. Hillary. Both ends of the court dominating this game early. Smith guarded by Oh, Kaniska. nice move. Oh, oh and blocked swatted there. by Gabers. Nice help side defense. So, wow. again, you mentioned earlier, two times backside help has been crucial here. Come on, Cammy. Nice inlet pass underneath to good Kendall. Left Kendall hand. up and no, oh, no man, good. That's two. It's too bad for 11 0 lead. There's two layups she's had, she's missed. But I love that aggressiveness. Keep going back to her. Nice set back there. Yep. Rough shot. Almost One. Well, even if it's not a turnover, that's a win for the defense. A, a step back, contested 12-footer early in the shot clock, that's going to be a win every time for the defense. Well, and Noah, that shot happens because they've been contested on D, and so you force early bad shots. <laughs> Kendall just has to find the, the bottom of the cup there. Kaniska, three-point shot, no good. That one seemed a little bit forced, Rob. Had yeah. a layup attempt that rimmed out, get out, probably reset, and try to get another play in there. Nice Another block by Gabers. Boy, that backside rotation defense, Noah, has absolutely been the cause of a lot of turnovers there. When we talk about Maddie Gabers being such a great shooter, that's two blocks oh. in three possessions now. Yeah, she got a little aggressive there. That's okay, Maddie. I'd like to see that. You're know, crashing the boards hard. It's one of the things that, you know, we don't normally see a lot of aggressive crashing the boards, but uh, it's nice to see Maddie doing that for your Nighthawks today. Kate Clark giving her sister a little bit of a breather. She's going to be all over Sunny here. Fights through the screen up top. They're looking to get the ball to Sunny a lot. That should be a foul, but no foul. A little. Again, great defense, great help side. Eight Call to out shoot. screens. Ooh. Yeah. A little bit and of bail out there, but I think it was a foul. Well, and Loy was really in a great position, shuffling hands up. She came down at the last second. That, that's what drew the foul. That's Loy's first personal, first team, excuse me, second team foul. Yeah, that was a foul. A little bit of bail out. I think she could have stayed with her and not got into her body as much and on the hands and arms have been okay, but I think it was a good call, even though I think the shot would have been off anyway. Asher Kai, first offering up and good. First point of the game. Checking in for your Nighthawks, Bo Brugman. Again, Rob, five and a half minutes in the first point. That's some strong defense. You'd love to see that lead a little bigger, but great beginning for the Nighthawks. Yeah. 
Hillary James on the left elbow into Loy Wade. Dribble, nothing there. Oh, she was yeah. looking. She was looking for for Bo, but I don't think Bo was expecting the ball that close. Yeah, that that pass felt a little bit forced there. Yeah. Step back, Ooh. three point shot. That's by Asher Kai. That's legit. Yep. All of a sudden, it's a it's a five zero run by the Central Washington Wildcats. Nice turnaround spin move by Loy Wade. Wade. Well, and that's a great answer by the by the Nighthawks too. Even though like that shot doesn't fall, getting to the line, slowing the pace of the game, is really going to help the Nighthawks maintain composure, regain composure, and regain control. Yep. Shaughnessy Davis checking in for your Nighthawks. That last foul was on Shelby Blodgett for Central. You say Lloyd Wade's parents are here? Or no. No. Okay. All right. Hopefully they're tuning in today from uh, Montana. Yeah, Haver, Montana. That was Maddie Gaber's dad that came up along okay, with uh, Bo Brugman's gotcha. mom. Said to say hi. Glad to have them with us here. We always love seeing the parents when they're in town. You bet. Out of bounds, last touched by Maddie Gabers. Well, that's a good adjustment by Loy Wade there, too. On that previous possession, she had her hands up and came down, and the uh, Wildcats were able to draw the foul. That one, she stays strong, is able to get a little bit of a finger on the ball and force that miss. Yeah, when you establish your possession position excuse me, down low and you don't jump, don't go into the opponent, that, they usually let that go. Mm -hmm. Quick hands, hands by there. Maddie. Wow, long three, no good. Shaughnessy Davis pushing the ball up on the left elbow. She wanted, oh, she to, go. wanted to go. She, <laughs> she did. did. Wait, That's again, a tough bad pass. pass. Yeah. I will say, Rob, in the second half of the Anchorage game, we had a lot of forced passes there. But I think, again, I, I like the passing. Just don't force them. Let it come to you. And also, don't be afraid to take the shot. Sometimes yeah. you overpass internally, and it doesn't turn out well. Well, it's not just a pass decision, too. It's what kind of pass to make. It's been a couple passes in a row where just trying a normal chest pass where a bounce pass might have been the better, the better decision, but not, that's part Good of it hands too. There. Kendall Clark, great hands there, jump ball. Jump ball. Possession goes to your Nighthawks. Another turnover forced. Right now they have forced eight turnovers, excuse me, five turnovers. I would love to push it. We were at 11-0 lead. I'd like to get that back up again. Kind of been stalled out on offense the last probably two, three minutes. A little bit flat. Bo hands off to Kate. Ah. A little turnover. Yeah, it off her knee, I think. Yep. Just need to settle back into our offensive set. and Just a second turnover for the Nighthawks. What are the... Oh, Good another, hands again by Shaughnessy, right? She blocked man. that, tipped that pass, I think. Jumping right into the passing lane. Brugman, short jumper, no good. I don't know. That pass, it's a tough shot, pretty quick. She was open. Well, and Lloyd Wade at the beginning of, that, beginning of that possession was running the floor down the lane, and Shaughnessy missed her running down the pipe. Uh, yeah, I saw that, No, That's a good, good, good call. Shaughnessy on the far side, back up to Brugman. Looking down low, nothing there. Got to help, boy. Gotta boy, help. offense has got to move around here. A little stagnant on offense. Not much moving. Nice inlet pass down to Loy. Yeah, there it is. Tough shot. Yeah, I Powered love, through. I love Loy in the block down there. She's got a lot go left and right. Really good touch. I just see a little more of that, to be honest, especially that undersized player. Tough Ooh, shot wow. by was, Sunny Wart. I think she went left hand on the right she side. Did. Usually that's a... Uh, it's really tough. That's why she's one of the top scorers in the Lloyd does not want basketball. that three. I love that. Oh, a little hard. Oh, Brugman on the rebound. And the, bank, the bank's open today on a Saturday. Great awareness Sixth. of tracking down that rebound and being right there for the putback is great awareness by Bo. But I tell you what, she, Sonny... Gives herself opportunities, giving some space. Nice, easy, about an eight-footer. Shaughnessy oh, Davis like with the finger take. roll. 
Wow, that was really aggressive. I love that under control, though. Really strong response there. Right. I love to see you really active on the offensive end. One minute to play here in the first period. Nighthawks up 18-9. to nine. Great to be to stop in the bucket then this half. Oh, McCord, I mean, that's a foul. Ooh. Got away with one there, I'm Chipped pretty right sure. right to Gabers, yeah. I think Loy got a lot of body on that, and then there was no call. Oh, it's a friendly tag. Yeah, I'm going to argue that there. Loy looked look, look like she established position. Offensive player initiated contact. All right. Look, look clean to me. Okay. Well, the refs agreed with you. There we go. We'll give Noah that one in the first quarter here. Okay, we got he, about a six-second differential here, so we got to get a shot in. See if Shawnee wants to go to the hole herself. Oh, she lost it. Oh, she hadn't lost it. Kick back out. Oh. Oh, that's too bad. Yep. Shot clock violation. Yeah. 6.3 seconds left. Shaughnessy had a couple times there. They're getting poked around. Oh, correction. 6.3 seconds. There you go, Tim. Tim confused the shot clock with the uh, game clock. They'll figure it out eventually. We have that big piece of machinery up in front of us. Electronic device. Good help defense there. there. Nope, that was not even off. Nope. All right. Score after the first period. Nighthawks 18, Central Washington 9. We'll be right back with you. Brent Peterson, Noah Peterson, Rob Adonio on the call today. We'll be right back with you after the short break. Welcome back. Welcome back to the Johnson Sports Center. Again, Rob Adonio, Noah Peterson, Brent Peterson on the call. Noah, why don't you give us a few stats here as we return to play? Yeah, so we talked about uh, both Westa and Kai being the really high-volume scorers for, for Western Washington. They've accounted for all nine of uh, Central Washington's points so far. Kai has five and Westa has four, uh, respectively. We've seen that their innate ability to score is very evident here early on. Throughout the season, we've talked about how effective the Nighthawks are when scoring is balanced. After the first quarter, seven Nighthawks are on the board already. Great to see everyone getting uh, a little piece of the pie, and hopefully that continues as the game goes on. You bet. That's a great point. Again. And again, too, I love playing teams only two scores because you can kind of typically, well, I'm going to go there. You can isolate those players and keep it under the wraps. Asher Kai, another three-point shot. Now, I don't mind that at all because you only have two players scoring. Oh, she's stepped out of bounds. Only two players scoring defensively, that's my advantage because you can just isolate them and do some unique things to make it really difficult and make the rest of the team perform when they usually aren't having to perform. The important caveat there is being able to actually stop them. When they're two of the best scorers in the country, you can't let them get what they're going to get yeah. because it's going to open up opportunities for other players on the team too. Kendall playing tough oh, down low. That. He pushed her out. That's oh, his elbow. That's offensive foul. Absolute foul. Travel. They could have called an elbow there or a travel. Well, that's, a, that's great composure there by Kendall to take it with her chest and swipe down at the ball. She would have had a steal if they didn't call the travel there first. Yeah, yeah. No, again, really good play in the block there. That's like four or five travels they've called on them in the block. All right, Brugman at the top to Shaughnessy on the left elbow. Back up top to Emma. Three-point shot. A little, little short. A little short. Saw it in the legs there. A little short in that liftoff. Looked like her load-up was a little bit out of rhythm, yeah. too. She's so good when she's in rhythm, but that one yeah. looked just a tad bit forced. Yeah, I agree. I saw that. Oh, man, look at that. Yeah, forearm. Oh, they yeah. called the forearm on. On Shaughnessy. Yeah. That could have gone either way. Well, and that's one of those that when you're being physical down the block, you can get away with it when it's out in front, especially when you're guarding the point guard like that. They're going to call that more times than not. Yeah, it's like the holding call on the edge versus internally. When it's out in the open, you're going to see it way easier. Kanishka, Hillary James. And also, Maddie Gabers checking back in for your Nighthawks. Behind the dribble, behind the back. Wow. Man, oh, that, that's, that's just a great out. move Asher there by Kai. Her, her composure is just so evident early on. It's clear why she's one of the best scorers in the country. Just calm, composed, nice little step back, 18-footer. Nothing but net. A little give and go to Cammy. Little jumper, no good. Tough shot there. 
Yeah, that's a tough shot. Kind of moving to the left, pull up six footer. That's one of the hardest shots in basketball, if we're being honest. Yeah. Glass is going to be your friend there, so if Cami can find a way to use the glass, it's a, it's a little higher percentage shot. But either way, I think early in the shot clock, we want to get a little bit closer, maybe a little bit more efficient shot. As I said for a long time, Noah, use that backboard. Yep, that's your friend. That's why it's your there. Friend. Good D there. Great defense by Emma. Again, Cami up top playing some great defense. Yeah. Well, that's a tough pass. Under 10 to shoot. What a great Down low by Sonny. Nothing there. Oh, Rebound. Man. Back out to Sonny. Wow. And good three-point three shot. Yeah. You, you got to get a lockdown defender on her, both of them, because they are excellent. As Noah said, they want to score, but, man, I just clamp down. I'm going to four and one or something on there. Well, and especially they forced uh, Sonny to miss on, the, on the, first the first shot of the possession. Yeah, I'm going to rush shot there. I think we're a little bit out of kilter offensively to pull, climb back to a one-point game. Well, especially when you're forcing a miss from one of those two gals. And another good look. That, that hit the top. That should be out of bounds, yep. When you're forcing a miss from one of those two gals, you have to be able to corral the rebound. Yeah, if you get exactly. them second opportunities, they will punish you for it. Good. Well, and they do also have the leading GNAC rebounder. So that is very important to do a good job on blocking out. All right. James on the left elbow. Green. Dribble drive. A little short jumper. No good. Again, there's a great block out by Capri Sims. Boy, I tell you what, Emma's working hard. It's good D, though. That's a great rebound, too. Oh, oh man, bad pass. Too bad it was a great defense to get us that ball. Then a turnover, forced by your Nighthawks. Cami Kanishka to James. Oh, it's a great pass to Kendall. It's got to finish. Right yeah. now, she needs to see one go through the bottom of the net because that's, that's three or four layups that she's normally automatic on. She has just missed, and at this point, it's got to be psychological for her. Yeah. She's so good in the paint. Yeah, just she just needs going. to see one fall. Just keep going down there because yep. they're going to fall. Little give and go there. Kick and roll. Out of bounds. The D again helps ID. Go. Well, and that's great defense, especially by Cami. She followed the ball fake. It made the passer hesitate just a little bit and force that Aaron pass. Again, something that's not going to show up in the stat book, but it's those little things that you do as a defender that force turnovers that are so effective. Nighthawks need a bucket. We do. Gabers with the ball in the far side of the court. I like going to Kendall here. Let yep. her go to the hoop. Yeah, let her take a good little jump. There, there it, is. it is. Yeah, she, yeah She's a great footer. player. As Noah said, she'll score. Those layups are going to fall. Scorer's going to score. Yeah. Yeah. Now some D here. We need some stops and watch her do two scores. That's great, great D. Help defense. Exactly right. Help D there. What will be fascinating to watch uh, for both uh, Sunny uh, and um, Kai will be their, their um, ability to play that hard all game. I think they've not come out yet. Oh, man, it's a miss. Oh, we got oh, lucky there. We got real lucky there. Rebound underneath, no good. Boy, Gabers they caught a rebound. break there. Wow. I thought there was a foul and some rebounds that could have. Nice good pass. That pass, travel. Really? OK, she hopped a little bit now. Yeah. It's too bad. I liked it getting the ball to her. Of course, Coach Steele asking for a little clarification, as he always yeah, does. I, think I, think I didn't like the call but because it was true, but I didn't want to see it. But it was the right call. Yeah, I think Coach. Kendall just got a little bit excited there when she, when she got yep. the ball. Yep. Move before great, she put the ball on the floor. And great position, too. Like mm -hmm. she, she knew she was got big eyes like a receiver seeing the ball come at you and turn up field first. All my football analogies. Come on. That's okay. It's still football season. It is for some Long teams. three. By the Wildcats, no good. Hillary great James. rebound oh, there. That's, that's a great that's help. That's Kate, isn't it? Yeah. Hillary that's Emma. James Emma, Emma sorry. Top. Yeah. Hillary came over the top also to help out. James, three ball, no good. Rebound, oh. kick back out Come to Cam Kanishka. Man. No good. Oh, oh another good. rebound. Picked up the garbage three, there. Three Wildcats crashed the boards and knocked it out of each other's hands. Right. Gabers, three. Wow. Corner pocket. Well, gave if you're going to be the best in the nation, you got to go shoot them. And I, I, the shot was a little rushed, but man, I let her shoot those. This is a green light at this stage in her career. 
Well, she's just so confident when she shoots the ball. She sides the defender, said, oh, you're going to give me space. I'm going to punish you for it. Blodgett on the shot. No good. In and out. Hillary James pushing the ball up for your Nighthawks. Oh, there, nice there it is. Passing. Emma Clark. And oh, good. Man. man, what great transition basketball Whoa. by your Nighthawks right there. Emma, is she is so good at finishing there. It's so hard to go in full speed and not be hard off the glass, but slow down enough to get it cleared. Sonny well, Huerta, long three, no good. When I've been so impressed by Hillary's vision these last couple games, running yeah. that point guard position, keeping her Give eyes up Kendall. the floor, Give it and to being, being composed. Great move by Kendall. There it is. There it is. There up it and is. under. I like that all day long. I mean, she, she missed a couple. Lead by your Nighthawks. She's missed a couple, but I like that all day long, popping her in there. Well, and it goes to show just how crazy and how important confidence is as a team. There was that stretch where the Nighthawks really struggled to score for a little bit. Blodgett, no good. Oh, man. Oh, Hillary Jane. I thought Ooh. Hillary That had cannot a be a ball. made bucket. That can't be an and one. Wow, on the ground? No. There's no way. She was on the ground coming up with the foul. Yeah, that's a miss. There's no way that she would, the ball was low, the foul was low. Maybe time on the floor. Mm. Well, yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a bad call there. Wow. There's no way that's an and one unless you're in the NBA. Because the foul was down low coming up. Ah, oh well. Yeah, she missed it there. So if they counted that basket, it should be 27-19, correct? Yeah, that's what that's what I'm seeing on here. Okay. On the scoreboard, it is not up yet. Because the scoreboard can't one. believe it's actually an and one. Yeah. That's why. <laughs> it wants to have the replay. Look at those GNAC standings, Rob, for us. We see Montana State. Boy, and they are good. 8-0 Western Washington, also very good. Tied for third is Alaska and Central. Nighthawks in, in fifth place. So again, a huge day today for a game for the Nighthawks. This is, a, this is a winnable game. Central's a good team, but we match up well, and uh, we've got a great shot today. Did well, I see that Western Oregon beat Anchorage? I, I missed that I, score. Could be. I, I don't know. Think, I think that's. I think Anchorage lost. I don't think. I mean, not well. Western. We just. I mean, earlier in the season, you mean? I, I think recently. No. I think Alaska beat West Central. Yeah, they beat Central. That's really Oh, they Western Frog. Oregon. I'm Western not sure. Oregon. I'm not they sure. They beat Frog Central after they beat him down in Ellensburg, Anchorage. They came up. I think Anchorage is on a 10 game win streak right now. Are they? Anchorage, yeah, okay. Anchorage is with like eight or nine in a row. Okay. I am mistaken then. I apologize. Because when they played us, they had won like seven in a row. So that's true. However, on Thursday night, Western Oregon oh. got the best of Alaska Anchorage 53 to Good 73. Call. The streak is broken. The streak is broken. Rob, keen eye on the standings across the G-neck. <laughs> Goes to bed reading the paper. Or the internet. No, paper. No, paper, yeah. Yeah, I'm old school. Yeah, that newfangled technology. I know. No. Black and white. My wife took screen time away from me. They're nice rebound by Gabers. Good block out. You know what they say, Noah? The rim doesn't lie. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. Ball don't lie. Kate on a great, oh, that's a, that's great a tough drive. Shot. That was a tough shot. Man. <laughs> Knife flying through. through the baseline there, <laughs> boy, and get the right the right angle and the right speed on that ball, right force is just that's a really skilled shot. Nice hands there by Cami. They are harassing Sonny a lot. That well, was the that was the game plan by Coach Steele. Well, and you really have to because you've seen when you don't harass her, she's going to punish you. But good oh, D again by Maddie Gay. Come man. on. So we, is, we talk about Maddie Gavers being the best three point shooter in the country. Man, your best score very often isn't your leading your. You're leading the team in blocks. That's her third block of the day, and that brings her up to 17 on the season. Unless you're Michael Jordan. Well, you know, but you never know. Again, good hand. Again, good hands again, forcing that wild shot. And then I mean, wild pass, excuse me. One to shoot on the shot clock. No good. Yep. There shot it clock is. Violation. There we go. Suffocating defense, Rob and Noah. Suffocating defense. Well, that defensive pressure is just so impressive. In, in the stretches of this game where the Nighthawks have played well, it's really been the defense that has fueled their confidence on the offensive end. It That's really exactly goes right. hand in hand. Uh, you're exactly right, No, The defense has absolutely led the game. As the defensive success has gotten stronger, the offense seems to match it. I totally agree. Points off of turnovers, nine so far for your Nighthawks. Gabriel That's a fail. You can't oh, put shoot. him in the face. It's a foul. Yep. Two in a row. You can't hit him in the face, Noah, can you? Yeah, no. Last, time I, last, last old, time I checked, no, the old playground, I don't think so. No blood, no foul, well, and the point no. is it was the third time. So finally, <laughs> I think the first one let go, but like three times in a row, like that's not going to work. 
team foul one for the Wildcats. Shaughnessy Davis inbounds to Kanishka. Oh, I thought she had Loy Wade looking there. Uh, Loy was there for a second. Ooh. Ooh, Ooh that I thought Cammy was getting ready to dribble again. She knew better. Oh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> Maddie bailed him out there by quick hands. Again, hands in the face. It's bad. Uh, tough shot there. That's a tough shot. Yeah. Well, that just looked a little bit out of sorts on that it possession. Did. Couple forced, couple lazy passes. Didn't really look like we knew what we were doing the entire time. Yeah. Force a weak shot late in the shot clock. Yep, totally agree. Asher Kaida Huerta. Yeah. Forearm. I do love Shauna C guarding her. Yeah. But she, she's going to go to the hole. So she's going to shoot outside. So you know that. And, uh, and it appears to be she can go left and right equally well. So you just got to play her straight up and just know she's going to the hole. And you're ready for that first quick step. Third team foul in your Nighthawks. How we've helped out, though, when she said the help side Bo defense have gotten by has really helped us out. So, Bo Brugman checking back in for your Nighthawks. Cammy taking a seat. Well-deserved rest. Boy, getting the classic back. Oh, man, it's a nice pass. Oh, it's a great. Oh. Yeah. That was definitely a foul there by Maddie. She came over late looking for her fourth block of the game. But if you're going to foul him down there, you want to foul him. Like, I think you, she did. You, 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 you want to make sure that it's not going to go in. Yeah. So make, make them earn their points. Really, yeah. not a, really not a terrible decision there. Um, she got the, the ball Nighthawks. along with her head and her hand. Well, I'm thinking, Coach Steele's thinking, hand hits ball, ball hits head. Is that a Well, foul? no, I think she got it more than that. It was, okay. yeah, I, it, those, those, that's going to be called 10 out of 10 times up here, right? Because there was ball and ball, but it was also some body with the yep. head and the arm. Well, and as the... The Wildcats are only at 20 points at two minutes left in the first half. This is a team that's averaging 72 points oh, per game. Point, One of the Noah. highest scoring teams in the in oh, the nice pass. Oh, man. That was a great oh, pass down man. to Loy. Loy just couldn't handle it down down low. Too bad. I like the pass. Just they weren't oh, communicating pass. clearly. But back to what I was saying, this is a really great defensive performance by the Nighthawks in the first half as they force an air ball there. Great rebound by Shaughnessy. That might have gotten tipped. So. Well, it's hard to say. I couldn't tell. Possible. But even with some, some missed layups and missed opportunities on the offensive end for the oh Nighthawks, they're still dominating this game. Boy with the left hand, no good. A little, little hard there. Yeah. I like that shot, though. I think she's looking for that, that, contact that foul, bit, that yeah. contact foul, but she's not getting it, and it's kind of throwing her off her game there. Good D. Now, I come she on. Gets one. So that, back to that foul that she had early in the first quarter where she brought her hands down. Again, she was in good position on that one. Her, her arms come down against the, uh, the smaller Sims, and... Gives her an opportunity at the stripe. Loy's in a good spot. If she has her hands straight up, she doesn't have to do much. Yeah, I point. agree. And her body's there. I mean, I, I, think, I agree. No, I think the, the arms got a little bit less than vertical, and that caused it. Capri Sims at the line, shooting two. First one up and in. She's averaging 75% from the free throw line. It'd be awesome to get at going ahead half of the 10 point lead. Well, and one thing that. Um, we haven't talked about the about the Wildcats that we probably should have talked about is they're top 15 in the country in free throw percentage. So when they get to the line, they're going to oh, punish man. you. They're oh. shooting 78% as a team back from the free throw line. To Emma, back out to Shaughnessy, back out to Kate. Kate with three, no good, a little strong. Well, I will be honest there. Those A lot of those passes were bad passes. Like, they're getting deflected. So it's the passes are just not really clean. And it's throwing off the timing of the shots. So we got to do something else because I love—I don't mind the passing, but all those passes were defended. Yeah. We we're lucky to have them completed. A great D there by. One minute to play. <clears throat> that's that's out of bounds. Be great to get a couple good good shots here in the last minute. Get two possessions and a stop. It'd be great to finish strong for the Nighthawks to the half. Well, and so much about this is confidence too. When they've played confident on the well on both ends of the floor, they've been able to get good shots. These last couple possessions, looks like they're anxious to get rid of the ball and it hasn't led to very many points. That's a tough shot. Boy, Sunny, she, I love how aggressive yeah. she is. My ball's out there and she snatches it out of the open court. Oh. Good D by Shaughnessy. Yeah. Well, that's a great Jump recovery ball. by Shaughnessy too because uh, Kai had her beat, yep. went for the step back, and Davis was right there for that block. That's great, great defense forcing that jump ball. It's great recovery. It's a great point. All right, playing for the last shot. Nighthawks will have 20 seconds. And hopefully it's do better than in the first quarter at the end. Don't have to force anything. Yeah, I would not be in a hurry here at all. No. Back up top to Emma. Nothing there. 
Yeah, now, now Burton, you got to go. Low. Good Kendall move to the left, left hand. hand. There That's it is. Great, there it is. That's a great in the pass. Great turn. Get her face. Right. She'll shoot that three. At the end wow. of the first of the half, first half your score Nighthawks 31, Central Washington 22. Rob Adonio, Noah Peterson, Brent Peterson on the call. We will be back with you after halftime. Thanks for joining us.
Welcome back from halftime where your Nighthawks are leading the Central Washington Wildcats 31 to 22. As we mentioned at the end of the first half, this is a Wildcats team that's averaging 72 points per game and with two of the best scores in the country, limiting them to only 22 points. Uh, talking specifically about Kai and Huerta. Um, they account for 17 of Central Washington's 22 points, but neither of them are being overly efficient right now. Kai is 3 for 10, uh, Huerta is 3 for 9, and watching them play, they're very, very dynamic players. And so being able to hold them to such a low percentage, great defensive job by, by Emma Clark and Cam Kanishka specifically, done a really good job shutting them down. Um, from the Nighthawk standpoint, we've talked about they are so effective on the offensive end when they are balanced scoring. Leading the way for the for the Nighthawks is Kendall Clark with, with eight points, but every single Nighthawk that has stepped on the floor tonight is on the board. Uh, Hillary James following, up, following that up with five, um, but really you're looking to up and down the stat sheet, two, three, all the way up and down. And the Nighthawks are shooting relatively efficiently, not, not as, as well as I think that Coach Steele would, would hope for, but they're playing so well on the, on the defensive end of the floor that it doesn't really matter. Uh, one place where the Nighthawks have really dominated the ball game is points in the paint. Um, only six points for the Wildcats and 20, 20 of the 31 points for, for the Nighthawks are coming in the paint. And especially, so only two for six from three-point land for, for the Nighthawks tonight. Maddie Gabers one for one. Of course, we talked about how much of a threat she is from behind the three-point line. And so if the Nighthawks can really delve and take advantage of that, those three-pointers later in the, in the second half, it's going to be to their advantage. And talking at halftime, the Nighthawks really should be up by more than nine points. And considering how much better they are capable of playing on the offensive end than taking care of the ball and shot efficiency. If they can come close to that defensive performance in the second half that they played in the first half, boy, it's going to be a good result for yeah, the Nighthawks. I, I do think that, you know, Kendall, like we were talking about earlier, Kendall had four missed shots within about two or three feet. I don't think we're going to see that in the second half. Um, you know, even if she pops out and shoots that little six or eight footer, um, I think Kendall will get her groove back in the second half. And, um, uh, Again, you know, Coach Steele's whole game plan was if we can control those two, um, you know, we'll we'll have a pretty good uh, game plan and uh, force other people to take shots, and, and we have done that. And so I'm, I'm excited to see the second half. Brent? I would say the key, as you said, is defense, defense, and our two top scorers. Offensively, I'd say keep going the block with Kendall and Loy. I think inside-out play, Maddie Gabers can be great on the outside three, but I think go to the hole over and over again. Kendall's leading score, she could have six more points easily. And I would say we're, we're bigger than, ironically, uh, we're bigger than they are in inside, which is not the case generally, so exploit that. And our outside shooters will shoot. Hillary can shoot, um, and Maddie can shoot outside, but I'd go to Loy and Kendall all day inside. Yeah, I think your, your point to the, that great defense, that backside help defense is really turned um, turned over the ball for us, which is great. I think also the transition points we had, yeah. you know, a couple opportunities that we succeeded on, a couple that we didn't, but uh, I think again, if we can get in that transition basketball, right, five on four basketball, five on three basketball, we're going to be you know, taking What's, this game What good. is striking is that it was amazing how the more dominant defensive ends we'd have. We'd come back for a great offensive side. And it's amazing when the defense kind of slacked the offense. Was, so, I mean, it's just so streaky, but I think defense is going to be key to this game for the Nighthawks. Yep. And we're underway. Central has the ball. First possession in the second half. And curiously, Kai had to open three and uh, change their minds. That was really interesting. Well, and keying in on, on Kai and Huerta, as we talked about all day, is going to be super important. Wildcats that are not those two are shooting one for 11 from the floor. And so, Making those other oh, Wildcats no. shoot is going to be critical. Offensive rebounds. You mentioned the first half. You yeah. just said that we make them miss. You can't have that. you got to pick those rebounds up. That's a point you made earlier. We just lost on that first possession. It's a good D again. Helps ID. Boy, that's too bad. Well, and that's yeah. just unlucky, too, where Emma had a great close out to, for that block. Ball just bounces the wrong way, and uh, the Wildcats are able to convert. Emma Clark in front of the bench. Back out to Kendall. Cami Kanishka. Nice inlet nice pass, pass to Emma. Nothing there. Back out to Hillary James. Well, I think that's a smart decision there by Emma, too. Yeah. Sizing it up. Didn't have a great look inside. Kick it back out. Recognize we still have time left in the shot clock. Cammy with a short jumper. No yeah. good. Just a little short. We love Cam, but she has really started the last three games. It has been a, it, you just see it's, just a, it's laboring for her. You know what I'm saying? It's just tough. And I, I, I would keep shooting, but, man, it just looks really hard for offensively right now. You don't score on offense, play some great defense. That's what yep. you got to do. Yeah. 
Played some great D yeah, tonight. Great pass. Right through wow. that. Yeah, they'll pick and roll there. It's a great give and go pass there. All yeah. of a sudden, a quick 4 0 run here by the Wild Hacks. We need to. Wildcats? Wildcats or Wild Hats, you know. It's okay. I'm here for you. Hillary James, a little short jumper. Good. It's a tough jumper there. It's a, big, it's a big little turnaround response. Man, Hillary's shooting off the dribble is probably the best on the team, if, if we're being honest. Yeah. We saw that great step back at the end of the first half last week. She's just so composed and keeping that, el that elbow square when she's shooting. Normally not efficient shot for most players, but for her, man, it's good. Got to crash the boards. Emma with the rebound to James. Maddie Gabers back out to Cammie Kanishka. Inlet pass down right. to Kendall. There's Kendall left hand. Oh. No good. Hard angle there. I do think Cammie is one of our best passers on the team, and there's a clear pass there. She's a phenomenal passer. Man, and they are just daring those other Wildcats yeah. to shoot, not even respecting the, the shot of... Uh, Number 13, Sims, but that's a great take. It is a great yeah. take. The ball got jumped out of her hands a little bit. She recomposed herself and finished strong. So it's interesting as Coronado's in, she had two quick fouls. We're not really sure what her game is like and she's going to impact in the second half, but she's back out on the floor. Emma Clark. Yeah, I don't like that pass. No, that's a tough pass. Yeah, it's again where the internal passing there, just not even close. Well, and you could tell Emma decided that she was going to pass that ball yeah. before she even put, put the ball on the floor. Oh, that's an offensive foul. Yep. Wow. Yeah, I, I oh. get there. It could have gone both ways. I mean, I, I think it's not a bad call. When I started, like, ooh, it could be on us. And a little break there. I don't know. What do you think, Noah? I think just forcing the official in that position yeah. to, where, they, where they have to make that call one way or another, especially as a defender where you're taking in the chest, right. yeah, especially being physical. Yeah. At that point, if you, if you get the foul as a defensive player, it's not the end of the world. Yeah. Forcing that turnover from an offense perspective is much more consequential. Oh, Hillary James left hand yeah. drive. It's a great point, though, because she is squared up clearly. She wasn't a side shot, it was a full square on shot, so that was a great point. That's a travel. Yeah, that's a great three, great defense. Three again. Nighthawks around Coronado. James back over to Kanishka. Come on, Cammy. Man. No good. Emma Clark, the little Boy. energizer bunny that could with another she seeks, rebound. She is, seeks that ball out. Great feed there by Hillary going to work. Matt Gabers, it's going to be good inside. Ooh. Oh, there's That's a foul. That's okay, yep. man. Love that. Gabers inside, Kendall inside. I was just talking to Maddie's dad um, during halftime. He said, you know, let Maddie post up on, uh, yeah. on Riley Johnson and by golly, that yeah. would just happen. And we, are rarely, we are rarely the bigger team. And we're bigger in, inside, which just doesn't happen often. So we have to take advantage of that. Gaber makes her first. Kate Clark getting ready to check back in for your Nighthawks. Shoot, shooter's roll there. Shooter's roll. Cammy Kanisha coming out, getting a well deserved rest there. Kate Clark checks in. We got the uh, Kate Trifecta and Gaber's. The starting lineup, I think, is in there, there right we now. Go. I think you mean the, Clay, the Clark trifecta, not the Kate trifecta. That's what I meant. Thank yeah. you. Boy, just suffocating defense. Wow. wow. Step back three. No yeah. good. Great rebound by Gabers. Again, that is all on our defensive end there. Great pass. Come, pass. Come on. Come on, Kendall. There Up it is. Moon. There we go. Transition basketball again. Good again. defensive stop. Get the ball down court. Well, that vision, too. that vision by Hillary is just so impressive. She continues to impress today. The further we get on the season, the more impressive that she is, both in her scoring ability and her court vision. Just tremendous. Great D again by Gabers. Hillary James comes up with the rebound. Emma Clark on the angle. drive. And oh. up and in. I, I do think that Emma Clark is one of our best finishers because no matter what speed she's running, she has the right touch on that ball coming hard in a hard drive. Well, she's just such, such a great athlete. Her composure to be able to finish at yeah. such high speeds is yeah. such an important skill great health as a player. Defense. Back out to Oof, Riley Johnson. Too bad. Yeah. It's great defense. No, yeah, no, you're exactly right. Forty-one, thirty-one. Nighthawks up. Five twenty-five left. Nice pass to Kendall. A little short jumper. Get in there. So no good. hard. Kate looked like she was going to come around Coronado for the rebound, but Coronado retains the ball. Those jumpers are so tough. Noah, yeah. eight footers, just wide open. It's just in a weird angle. It's like, ah, I just want to go to the hole. Like, you know, even oh, that's a nice move. Wow. Yeah, you can see why she's a great scorer. He's got great balance, great composure. All right, Nighthawks need a bucket here. James, step back, about 15 footer. No good, in and out. 
Well, and that's just so close, too. You don't want to discourage her from shooting right now. It's a little early in the shot clock for such a long two, but she's so effective in, in scoring those that I wouldn't discourage her, for, discourage her from shooting that shot right now. Emma Clark on Huerta. Good D. Wow. Oh, in and out. Well, and that's great patience there Ooh. by Huerta to, to turn around and use that glass. Almost a beautiful move. Yeah. Bounce goes the Nighthawks' way, but... She Man, tell. those girls are special. Phenomenal athlete. Great body control. Can go left, go right, shoot inside, outside. That's where they score a lot of points because they're very good. Kendall, nice great seal inside. Left-hand wow. finish. Ah, great pass. Noah, come on. Seal it up there. <laughs> I want that all day. Yep. I love Kendall's footwork. She absolutely sealed her off from that. And a great look. Great pass. The right time. That's a foul. Yep. Yep. Oh, they're going to. Yeah, that's, that's, that's on us. Yeah. Hillary, that's all day. She busted through that and blocked her there. Not a competitive beginning, 10-point lead, but a great start by both teams, really. Really fun, fun first part of this third quarter. Media timeout. We'll be back with you after that. 43-33, Nighthawks are up. Welcome back to the Johnson Sports Center. Rob Adonio, Noah Peterson, and Brent Peterson on the call this afternoon. Glad to have you with us. Nighthawks are up 43-33. Again, really both teams playing some good basketball. The uh, Nighthawks had moved it to a 13-point lead um, and have been back and forth, now a 10-point lead. But again, you can really see their two top players, Kai and Sonny, are just absolutely just phenomenal athletes. Great to watch. And what, what I've loved to see from the Nighthawks today so far is how much more composed they've been versus those Alaska games mm -hmm. last week. Only nine turnovers so, so far in this game, which relative to how they've played the last couple of weeks is really good. It shows how well they played on the offensive end. That's a very good a point. Great, Man, that's a great help by, by Kendall. So, Noah, your point there, Kendall went straight up, and there was no foul because she didn't lean over like Loy was. So, again, it, there's a lot of contact there because she was straight up. The referee mm -hmm. just called out of bounds on her with the block. Well, especially when the offensive player is already in a poor position, She's yeah. standing behind the backboard there. You don't want to bail out the yeah. offensive player by fouling them when they're already probably going to miss anyway. Oh, wow. Lord. Two on the shot clock, Boy, nothing and that, but the bottom of the cup. And that angle was ridiculous. Yep. Falling away in the side, had you a double clutch. Man. Well, and that's where some players are just scorers. You hear, yeah. you, hear play, you hear a lot of people talk about, like, oh, she's a scorer. That's what these two are today. And, man, that's a scorer right there. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, Kendall no first going to the cup. Yeah. It's, a, it's an innate ability to finish around the rim. Yeah. Just putting the ball in the cup is just second nature to them. And that's where, Noah, you want Kendall to keep shooting those shots. I love Shaughnessy here on uh, Kai. That's a foul. Yep, yeah. they're going to call that. It's a, it's a blocking that, foul. Yep. It was good help, just it couldn't get there in time, and she wasn't squared up and got that side, side glancing blow. Well, and when you get beat off the dribble, and guarding those gals on the perimeter is, is hard, is a lot easier said than done, but when you get beat off the dribble, it forces that help side to come over. And the Nighthawks have done a good job at that today, but more times than not, it puts the Nighthawks in a poor position when you get beat off the dribble, and that, that's what forced that foul by Kendall there. Again, yeah. not a bad decision in that, forcing them to convert at the line, but you know, guarding on the perimeter, if you get beat off the dribble, it's a lot harder um, from a defensive standpoint once you get beat. Yeah, and again, she's going to make that shot without the foul, and so again, make her earn from the stripe. She probably will, but... That's okay. 85% free throw shooter is Asher Kai. But that means you missed 15%. So, you know, this could be one of 15. Let's play the numbers. Yeah. Hey, 1.7 points versus two. Yeah. Exactly. Math, math seems to work out for me. Math is math. Except when it's two out of two. This time. I don't think that's how probability works. <laughs> I'm going to be completely honest with you, but whatever you say. I just go to reality, not probability. But, yes, you're right. Shaughnessy Davis. 
Dribble drive underneath the basket. Reverse. Up and in. Whoa. So that, that was, was rough. I mean, I would have loved, I would have loved the back. I love the backboard on the reverse. He scored one of those Noah on Thursday or last the Anchorage game. Oh. But that was rough. They do a reverse without the lay, without the backboard, but it, it dropped. Lloyd's just got to get herself yeah. set and, and not continue. She just got to get set. Let them yeah. come right into you. Lloyd's got three, so yep. and it's not bad, but she'll want to not pick up any fourth until. The fourth quarter for Sir. Annalie Coronado at the free throw line. She's a 78% free throw shooter. Well, Noah, you mentioned they're one of the best free throw shooting teams, which we've said is so important, especially in later in the season and late in games. That's just a quality that is just so important. Well, 78% from the line is, is nothing to, to shake your head at. It's really, really very impressive when, you know, you're making that many of your attempts, the free ones. The, the most efficient shots are, are layups, free throws, and, jump, and open three-pointers. When you can shoot that high percentage from the free throw line, man, that pays off, especially late in games, as you said. Shaughnessy spotting up for three. Oh, no got to follow that shot. Coronado with a rebound, bringing the ball up court for the Wildcats. Setting up their offense. She's looking to drive. Nothing there. Oh, Sunny had a dash. Yeah. They didn't see her. <laughs> Flashed the, the, the key. Nice the backside I mean, help. Yes, yep. it did. So Gabbers talked it. Yep, got it, Rob. Yeah, it went right through Gabers' hands, right into the Central Washington players. Didn't see it. Nope. Went out of bounds, yep. Again, good defense there. Nursing uh, an eight-point lead. We'd love to expand that if we can. That is as big as 13 points in this quarter. Two minutes to play in the third period. Well, I'd love to get this in the, into uh, Loy in the block if we can. Or Maddie Gabers. I just think that's our bread and butter in there. Kendall looks like she could drive, or excuse me, Kate. There's a nice inlet pass. Oh, so pretty. Deloy. That's so a, pretty. Man, that's a beautiful play designed by Coach Steele. They have that curl around and that, that cut from the opposite wing right to the basket. That's such that's so hard to defend um, from, from the defensive perspective. And so to get that look and have that wide open layup, great pass and great finish by the Nighthawks. Boy, phenomenal help defense all night today by the Nighthawks. Three point basket, no good. By good job the, by Shots of Foul yeah, there that's on Sunday. That's a great job going and getting the ball from Davis. It's, there's a tendency from the guard perspective to want to get back and go out and run. Davis went, attacked the ball, secured the rebound, and drew that foul, which yep. as we get later in the game are going to be key. Yeah. Both teams shooting 25% from three-point land, which we would like to have that a little higher. Well, and Matty Gabers needs to shoot more. Raise that yep. thing go up. Offensive foul. Now they called that on Kendall, I believe. That was on Kate. Kate. Oh, Kate, excuse yep. me. Fourth team foul for your Nighthawks in the third period, 49-39. Yeah, th I think they called that that chicken wing screen right mm, there. The elbow. Kate, Kate got her elbow out yeah. and kind of a soft call in my opinion, but from a technical Boy. standpoint, it is a foul. That was a great play by two of the best players in the Wildcats team. They had a look there. And Kai dropped to Sonny, who, I'm sorry, Sonny dropped to Kai on the, on the, uh, the cut in there. Yep. Pretty play. Go to work. Come on, Lloyd. That's got to be a foul or something. Well, and so, as we've talked about from Loy on the opposite end, she's come down, and that, the refs have punished her for that. The defender, uh, Sims, on that one stayed straight up, and that's why, it's very, from the refs' perspective, if you stay up, even if there is some contact, they're going to give you the benefit of the doubt as, as a defender. Bergman at the top of the key. I like to get her inside. Yep. Yes, I get love her that. Inside. Loy Wade, oh, nothing there. I like that shot. A little bit, the little foot push there quickly. Yeah, she forced a little bit. She needs to compose herself. Yeah. Maybe I like a head it. fake. I like going to her, though. Yeah. I think going a little slower for her is better for her, I think. Yeah, I do too. Boy, nice block. Great defense there by Clark. Beautiful block. Come on, by Shaughnessy. Sonny. One, One more. Nice pass to Bro Brooke Oh, great man. recovery. That. Yeah. That was a great recovery. Yeah, Sims running the floor there. Uh, the Nighthawks were open early in the possession. Davis was a little bit late in getting it over, and that's where Sims was able to recover for that big block. It was a tension, too, because you kind of would play for the last shot or not, but an open layup, you're going to take that every time. So Kate. you're not as a, as too quick. There's no reason for those shots. That should so stay. That's a tough call there against the Nighthawks. Like Clark was coming in, but I thought that went off the, the Wildcat. But so I, I think, again, way. that shot was taken way too early. There's no reason you want to take a shot with 15 seconds to go yeah. and no shot clock there. That's just a mental error. That's a great call. Coronado with a ball. Left hand Coronado dribble on shoot Brickman. that ball. Nothing there. Nighthawks 
49, Central Washington 41. We'll be back with you for the start of the fourth period. Hey, folks, don't forget to join the 208 Club. Coach Steele established and the Lady Nighthawks established the 208 Club, which is a fundraiser to help support your Lady Nighthawks. It is not easy to have a Division II basketball team traveling to Alaska, down to California, all over the Pacific Northwest. So we've given you an opportunity to scan the QR code here on the screen, or you can go to nnusports.com 208 Club and help out and support your Nighthawks. They would greatly appreciate it. It's always good to support the ladies. And we'll be back with you after the short break. All right, welcome back to the Johnson Sports Center and a new campus. Rob O'Donoghue, Noah Peterson, Brent Peterson getting ready to start the fourth period. Well, and Rob, this game has been really very close since that first quarter. Um, of course, the Nighthawks were up 18-9 to after, after that first stretch, but ever since then, it's been toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Really staying very close through, through the whole game. A little bit softer defensively there. They had 22 at half, and they scored 19 that quarter. So we want to clamp down a little better here. Nice inlet pass. That's a foul. Wow. I don't know. No, yeah, they're going to get oh, man. Brugman on the Yeah, on the that's back. unfortunate. I think Kendall got several body shots there they could have called. I don't know. No, what do you think? I mean, it's it's tough. Nah, we, 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 we've seen we've seen less we've seen less get called. We've also yeah. seen more not get called. That's fair. I think that's that's just the nature of how it is. Yeah, that's I, right. I think I, Coach Steele was asking the official, "Hey, um, body? No body? Good D there. Wow. Oh. Yeah, that's just better on the offensive end. You cannot ask for anything more on the defensive side there. And now we got a six point game. This game, well, the Nighthawks have been really dominating most of the game. They've got to stri stay strong in this early fourth quarter to keep that lead high." I keep going back down low to Kendall. Yep, I would too. That's a makeup call right there. Yep. It's on now one, I think. Yep. Yeah, so that's a makeup call from the previous time when she didn't get called in the play. I don't want to devalue that foul, though, because uh, Coronado was all over was She all was, over she Kendall, was, so but I, again. I wouldn't call that a makeup call, to be honest yeah, with you. Yeah, well, it was, again, not real heavy on the foul. But when it's back to back in the same player, the previous play. Maddie Gabers down low, up and under. Man. Nice soft touch. She went, I thought she was going to go left handed. She just held right hand. I think the defender thought the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> I was looking at it. It looks like she transitioned the ball from her left hand to her right hand. Good job, Hillary, there to keep it on your feet. Stay on your feet. Oh, nice crossover. Great rotation over by Maddie to get that tip because that was a wide open layup. Spot up three by Riley Johnson. No good. Hillary James comes down with the ball. That's Should a be foul a foul on, on 13. number 13. Yeah. Capri Sims. Wanting to pick up another rebound. Well, that, that helps that rotation there by Maddie was so big because that's, a, that's yeah. a great move there by Kai attacking the basket. Maddie comes out of nowhere for, for, that, for that block. I'm not sure if they called that a block or not. I think they did. Um, that's her fourth block of the game. Yeah. The, the team defense and the team rotation has absolutely been the centerpiece for the Nighthawks tonight. Wow. Look like Kai ran right through Hillary James. Clark up. And under, fantastic move by Clark. Go like Kendall again. Really, just strong game tonight. I love, I love her footwork on the, on the on the block. Boy, that angle. Wow. Good. Great. Well, so that's again where she's short, and she's used to that kind of hitching the giddy up in the side angled shot in there. She's done that a thousand times, and that is just a dominant player there. Left-handed shooter, stopper on the left-hand side. But her her yeah. angle is just yeah. so tough, but she's done that by a thousand times. Yeah. That's so she compensates for being being smaller. Hillary, quick jump. Wow. About a 12-footer. Both, both teams lighting it up offensively right now. The key for the Nighthawks is to get some stops. This Fifth. crucial period here. Coronado on the drive. Nothing there. Turnover forced by the Nighthawks. Hillary Again. James with the ball. You're not in a hurry here, but take what they'll give you. Oh, great nice move, move by Hillary. Oh, oh. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, hey. Hey. Man, and Hillary's composure is just so impressive. Just being there able to slow is. the game there down. Is. Steps back, pump fake, 
Gets the defender in the air and beautiful finish off the glass. That got the Nighthawk faithful off their feet, encouraging the team. Do it some more, do it some Nighthawk more. It's 57-45. We'll be right back with you after the timeout. Thanks for joining us here on the Nighthawk broadcast and in usports.com. Welcome back to the Johnson Sports Center. At that time, now I was looking down at the, the two benches. Coach Steele, his team was up, excited, encouraging each other. Central Washington's team was sitting down. I know that's probably typical, but, uh, you know, I think there's a lot to say about the encouragement of your team, the excitement that you have, turning in now to a 12-point lead. And, again, we got, we got to finish this game. But, again, great body language, great energy. I win. Yeah, we got to finish this fourth quarter, but I think a really stalled three and a half quarters by the Nighthawks. They get a really quality opponent. Absolutely. Very good point, Mr. Peterson. Looking for the back door, nothing there. Good hands looks again. Like, looks like off, off, ooh, looked like off the knee of Oh, I didn't see of that. Kai no. there, okay. but I did not see that closely. Well, the refs didn't see that closely either, apparently. <laughs> so. but you got to make a call, whether you see it or not. You're making a call. Young eyes up here, Sot. Oh, there you go great again, boy, man. Hillary. A tenacious defense there. She's an excitable person to watch, that's when, for sure. When the Nighthawks are their best, Steve Steele is going to bother everything out there. Every inbound pass, every pass. Coach Steele's asking about maybe the shot clock. Yeah. I, Take I, point three off, maybe. Yeah. Well, whatever it was, he's not happy, but play on, they say. Yep. Yeah, I don't think any time came off the clock. Almost a travel there, yeah. it looked like. Good D. Well, again, we got missed a shot there, but great D and a great shot. Again, she likes that, a left-handed double clutch shot. Yeah. But, again, the defense has just been so phenomenal day by Emma. Well, and even as, as good of a player as Weta is, uh, forcing, a mit, like forcing any shot like that is a win for the There's for a the backdoor defense. pass. Nothing there. Gaber's back out. Gaber's. I love that. Pulsing That's under, oh, yep. it's too bad. I love that. That felt really great. Good timing, good balance, working her player in. That's a, a shot Steve Steele's happy with, for sure. Long three-point shot. That's Kai, we man. High. We haven't seen her in a while, but, man, that she has dangerous. Now, all of a sudden, quickly back to a nine-point difference. Kai has 18 points today. Yeah. Huerta has 13. Yeah, they're going to get their average, and we played good defense on them. So you see... Even great defense. Cedars are going to get theirs. Gabers with nice a drive move. left hand, up and in, good, no call. There. You see that the clear yeah. out, the clear out, yeah. got that space, and she's a left hand all the way. It's a great offensive uh, motion there. Well, I'm bringing that ball down low to get her right shoulder in yeah. front of the defender just so she can protect the ball in the, when she rises with that left hand. It's a great move. And that's gotta, way too easy on a defensive that end. Door. That's what happened. The Kai just got double teamed, which is the right thing, but they lost a, a Wildcat going to the hole. Yeah. So. You're going to give that up because you need to double T Kai. That's the advantage of a great score is that double team will happen. Now give it to Kendall. Come great on. seal. Yeah, there's a hold. Yep. That's on, that's on uh, Sonny, I believe. Yeah. Yep. Third, third, personal. third personal on. Yeah, it doesn't Sonny. matter. Third she does, team. That. Here's the nice thing three team fouls yeah. with five to go. If we can force a couple more, then we start shooting free throws. Yeah, clearly Sonny and Kai are two of the best players we've seen all year long. Not not dominant physically, but just absolutely phenomenal skill. I mean, Kendall on the drive right hand, up and oh, in. Man, That's beautiful. Great basketball Woo! right there. Man. And she's so good at going that left or right hand. The defender doesn't know which one. She exactly. can't key on one hand or the <laughs> exactly other. So if she right. if she goes if she goes with the right hand, like the defender's already expecting there her to is. go left. Hillary James. Come on, off give the it knee. to us. Oh. Ooh. 
But back to what I was saying about Kendall, because she's so capable of going both ways, yeah. the defender can't cheat one way or the other. So she gives just she hesitates just for a tenth of a second, and that gives her enough space to finish with the right hand. It's funny, both Emma and Kate, like they're just all over, scrappy all over. But Kendall has the inside dominance. Not that she's that much taller, but her footwork and her length and her arms are absolutely just a powerful force inside. Yeah, and very she's different. Committed when she starts, she's committed. Oh yeah, which I love. Yeah. Look at Hillary, Hillary again. Hillary James all Man, over the court, folks. She is on fire today. She is seeing the ball, absolutely giving 110%. Kate Man. Clark checking in for her and sister she knows Emma. That she's playing. I mean, she's yeah. playing Kai, and so she's like, come on, I'm giving you my best today. Yep. I love it. Great energy. And again, for a shooter, that's exhausting. When your defender is playing you that hard, you have to expend that much energy. Look at Hillary again. Oh, that's oh, a bad that's call. That's cheap. Yeah, that's a bad call. I saw that the whole way, and she was there. Yeah, I don't like that call at all. Let him play. Yeah. That's a case this, where it's really soft. This late in the ball game, let him play. I agree. Yeah. That's it's just a second team foul for your Nighthawks. Kick back out. Three ball. No good. Got to get a rebound. Come on, Maddie. There you go. Boy, again, those, <laughs> we had a lot of rebounds. It just hit the floor first. Yeah. We had to go on Alaska Fairbanks, Rob. We had everybody boxing out. No one got the ball. I did see that. Yeah, it was kind of crazy. Go to Come work. On, Kendall, go to work. Take Do it. it. Take her. Take her. There you go. Nice crossover. A lot of body there. Well, something down there, nothing here. Go one more, wow. go one more. Boy, they get a rim shot there. It's a playcock. Yeah. Jump shot, no good. Man, Hillary was wide open at the top of the key, and Cammy just yeah. didn't see her. That would have been a good look, because Hillary's been so hot all day. I agree. Four and a half left in the ball game. Good There's deep. a great block Come on, by Hillary. Hillary James. Oh, my goodness. Boy, that is just absolutely something. She, she give me wants the ball. The ball. <laughs> give me the ball. <laughs> you saw that, too. Give me the ball. There we go. Yeah, we're not in a hurry. We're nope. not in a hurry. Well, and Hillary's able to make that block because Kendall rotated exactly so early right. and stood right there, and Hillary was right there yep. for the swat. That's exactly right. Oh, That's Maddie. a foul all that day. Is. Boy, and they were getting Maddie on the – On that curl on, screen. Yeah, on the curl screen. To your point, that's four team fouls by, the, by Wildcats, so one more will be shooting. That's an under oh. five minute timeout. Be a media timeout. We'll be back with you shortly. Nighthawks are up 6150. Thanks for joining us. Rob Adonio, Noah Peterson, Brent Peterson on the call. Welcome back to the Johnson Sports Center. Rob Adonio, Noah Peterson, Brent Peterson. Noah, we were just talking here right before we came back on. So why don't you kind of fill, fill our listeners in what we were looking at. Yeah, man, looking at the, that turnovers is really the, the number I want to highlight here. Last, last week against Alaska Anchorage, I think the Nighthawks had 34 turnovers. 36. Or 30, 36. 30, 36 against a very talented uh, Anchorage team. The, the Nighthawk offense is so skilled that – Really, the only ones who can stop them are themselves. And so limiting only to 10 turnovers on the day, well within that, that 10 to, to 14 range is really where you want to live as, a, as an offense. Man, when, when they can control that, that's just such a big differentiator. Yeah. Again, yeah, four minutes to go. You're in no hurry here. You're not in a stall offense, but take me to give you. Hillary's wide open Oh, there. she's wide open. Take it. All oh, day. Jumps all out day. Again, all I would say there is take a step back for a yeah. three, but yeah. other than that, it's a long two. But that's that's okay. her comfort zone right there, 12 that's to 15 right. feet. You it's bet. A, it's a great shot. Yeah. She's wide open, in rhythm. Got to cut her off. Ooh. They're looking for the, yep, drive. Oh, that's wow. That's a charge. Oh, you got to call a charge there. Oh, my goodness. Well, it looked like. Kate Clark. Oh, man. It looked like. Yeah, it looked like Kendall came down with her hands a little bit and got, got worked on, on the right wrist there. Mm. Did they get Kendall or did they get Kate? I think they got Kate. Oh, it was Kate, yeah. 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 No, they called on. Yeah, it was Kate. Yeah, that's right. Sonny Huerta at the line, shooting two. Well, really the Nighthawks have done a very good job, as, as Sonny makes that first free throw there, of really limiting how much those players are scoring. Um, Kai has 21, and, and that's, that's what it does, uh, 15, 14th point. Mm -hmm. um, but both of them are shooting around 30% from the field, which is well below what they normally shoot. 
And that really speaks to the kind of effort that the Nighthawks have been putting in on defense on those two and why they're leading this late in the ballgame. Because the rest of the team has very few points. Yes. Yeah. Two, nine, and three points for the rest of the team. Oh, travel. travel. Yeah. She kind of got stuck in no man's yeah, land right it was a there. Weird, a weird. The first class was deflected, and it's all right. She's got to come under control now. Well, and that's just one of those where it's so important to just stay on the ground. No reason to make a jump pass passing backwards outside the three-point line. Wow. That could have yeah. been an Coronado. offensive foul super yeah. easily. Lowered her shoulder into, into Maddie's chin. Maddie took it like a champ. That's a great look for Kate. Kate. Just off a little bit. I thought Emma was going to sneak back behind. Is that Kai? Oh, that's where to. Almost a travel there. Ooh, yep. Kai. That's way too good to look for Kai. She's going to make that every single time in transition, she is in rhythm. going to make it every look. single time. The coach wants to press there. Oh. And this is a key possession for the Nighthawks. It don't, is. don't turn the ball over here. Get a solid shot. I'd go inside again. Yep. We don't need outside three. Give it to Kendall. Let her work. Back to the left. There Ooh, we go. Oh, go to the right. Is. Coach was calling for a travel. I think she composed herself because she didn't have the ball. Got the ball back. Yeah, I love yeah. throwing that down there for inside to Kendall. That was just really smart. When in doubt, you're an outside three. That's coming hard. Oh, oh how'd that man. stay in? That's, that's the benefit of shooting straight on is you, yeah. get, you get a lot more help from the glass on that one. I was hoping he's going to go up and hit the, the standard there. 65-58, two minutes and 20 crucial, seconds left. Crucial possessions here. The next two or three possessions are vital. we got to score and then stop them. They had two threes in a row. Take her on the drive. Not in a hurry. Hillary the on the drive. Oh, oh and no call. Yeah, I think that was clean. It's too bad. That was, that was a clean drive. Just couldn't convert there. I think Hillary was surprised how wide open she was. Yeah. She smoked the defender so bad she was wide open, was expecting more contact, and came too hard off the glass. Coronado deep three. No good. Got to box out. Horrible miss. Oh, man. Five Guess point who's there? Game. Capri Sims. Wow. Five-point game. It's going to be a barn burner to the end, guys. Again, the leading rebounder in the GNAC gets a rebound and two points. All right, we'll be back with you after the short timeout. 151 left. Nine Hawks are up 65 60. Going inside. Welcome back to the Johnson Sports Center, Nampa, Idaho. All Home of a sudden, it's gotten Hawks. close, Rob. You know, it's not fun if it's a blowout. So, Well, <laughs> it is a little fun. <laughs> it, it is. When you get old, and st it's stressful when it's close. Yeah. So, you know, getting but, out of a press here. The key here is just under control, no turnovers, not go inside into Kendall when we get the ball. Got to get her some help up there. Yeah, we're going to see what Coronado wants to do one-on-one -on -one there. The trap. No, no trap. Oh, there's a trap. There it is. Gonna be That's a, a block. There, there it is. It. Now we're shooting free throws. Now we're shooting free throws, which I think is okay for the Nighthawks. I think free throws are okay here. Obviously, you want to make these. No, as you said earlier, you know, having a high free throw percentage is crucial, and this is when it pays off in the game. Well, that's a brutal mistake there for the for the Wildcats too. Fouling in the yeah. backcourt off the dribble doesn't make any doesn't make any sense. Of course, you want to you want to speed up the Nighthawks if you're if coming from the perspective of the, of the Wildcats, but fouling the backcourt, especially when you have a free throw shooter that's as good as Hillary is and as as well as she's played today, crucial mistake. But the Nighthawks will take it all day long. Well, it's it's a gamble. I think you want to say it's a good. Can I get a turnover there? What's the risk reward there? And I think they just um, they obviously failed. Went for the steal, and they, uh, they couldn't convert. So Cammie's wanted to come in, which, oh, it was close here. They're going to say they let her in or not because she wasn't there at the table in time. And so the question is they let her come in because typically, is she coming for shooter maybe? Looks like this warrants for the discussion by the refs as, we're, as oh, they're going to discuss word. this uh they're going to decide. Check in. They're just deciding whether or not Cammy got there in the table in time. I don't know if that's it or if it's was it on the. I think that's what it was because they there was already a next play in the staff book. So as, as long as that free throw is good, the only thing that they're actually going to review here is whether Cammy. I didn't even wow. know that was a reviewable play to be honest with you. Yeah, I'm not sure it matters that much either. It's interesting because she was running up. I think if I what I remembered live is I think the ball was already in our shooter's hands, which means that she had knocked it there in time. I think the question is she wants to come in for the shooter. But I'm not, yeah. Well, 
Oh, they're looking at the. They're looking at the play, aren't they? Or are they looking at? I uh, can't Cammy tell. coming in. Well, folks, we don't know what happened, what they're looking at. No explanation. So Cammy is there. I think she wants to come in for the shooter. So it, again, that's the only reason she's not coming in now. I, we, I, we're not sure exactly yep. what all they decided. Let's just make this free throw and keep going, as yep. I would say. Hillary has one shot left. Up and so, ooh, shoot his roll. And now yeah, that's what checking it was for the shooter. There it is. Oh, for no, Maddie. coming in for Maddie. Interesting. That's interesting. Yeah. Okay, well, a seven-point lead is better than five. The key is no threes and be all over Sonny and Kai. That's what I would say. All right, Coronado setting up the offense for the Wildcats. Great help defense again. Almost a draw, a travel oh, there, yeah. Noah. When you, know, you have those two steps. That's a great move there by Kai. Oh, Ooh. man, great rebound, too, by wow, Kendall. Great defense. Great, great defense. We got a little press, a little trap here. We want to be composed here, too, with a seven-point yep. lead. No need to rush a no, shot early in the exactly shot clock. Right. Be composed, take care of the ball, and get an open look. Yeah, again, not shoot until you have 10 seconds left in the shot clock. Easy. Oh, Hillary oh, could take oh, her. Oh, she could, yeah. Run out of the trap. Timeout. I don't Coach know why Steele. he called that timeout. That's Hil weird. Hillary looked like she was running free, she although was. this enables yeah. you to draw a good set, up, set play, I think maybe Steve get a bucket. Wanted, I think Coach Steele wanted to get the ball I think they're going to get it either underneath or on yeah, the side. I still, I don't like it. I don't, yeah. Unless, I mean, obviously we're not the coach, but he's thinking there. But Hillary was open going to the hole, and he had to do a lot of things. I just don't know what he was thinking there. But Well, 107 left, 67-60, Nighthawks are up. Coach Steele down there with his uh, special Sharpie. Maybe that, uh, great that double curl, Noah, we saw earlier. Yep, so talking about that, that. That high post entry with the, the guard coming from that, that backside wing is, is, is what we're referencing there. Um, yeah, this is going to give Coach Steele an opportunity to drop whatever play he wants, get the team set. Nine seconds is late enough in the shot clock that you're, you're going to take that first open shot that you get. Um, but, man, what a performance today by, by Hillary James. 17 points, shooting over 50, 7 of 12 from the field, yeah. six assists, three steals. Um, Maddie Gaber's just been a menace on the defensive end of the court. She's, bring, she's brought down eight boards today, four blocks, adding to her season high, or her uh, team leading total, excuse me. And man, Kendall Clark has just been a menace underneath. 20 points on her own. 10 for 21. 10 for 21, especially after she had that slow start to the game. She's really rebounded very, very well, which we talked about. Like She was, she was going to get some, and she, she's gotten some today. And it's going to be big for the, for the Nighthawks to finish here. Okay, Nighthawks have about eight seconds to shoot. Hillary... At top, guarded by Coronado. It's about a 10-footer, no good. And that timeout decision is a little bit more interesting now, now that that was the play that was drawn up. Of course, Hillary's so good for, with that jumper, but a little bit of a surprising shot selection there. If I'm oh, Lord, don't have leave mercy. her wide open. Oh, well, we got lucky there. Yep, Cammy Kanishka with the rebound, 43 seconds left. They're Watch the trap. Yep, there's a foul. And that's, well, a, that's, that's a huge, a huge break. Kai has punished the Nighthawks all oh, day. 24 <laughs> points, four of eight from the from the three. That's not something she miss that she misses very often. And excuse she me. She was wide open, Noah. But the Nighthawks will certainly take it. And man, these free throws are so important here. Can't can't understate that enough. All right. Little composure, Cami. Up and good. Well, and even as we come down the stretch here, of course we've got we've got 40 seconds left, but. This is one of the most complete games we've seen from yeah. the Nighthawks all season long on the defensive and offensive ends of the floor. Very yeah. composed. The entire game, very, very effective. Cammy Clutch, that's four points. Her, yeah. her, listen. She's had a huge impact on the game. Yes. I know she's still really stuck in this shooter yeah. slump. But she has had a huge impact. She had great defense, great passing. You know, she wants to be making 15 points a game. Uh, her shot is off right now. But she's contributing as a leader on this team. Right. And looking in, in the timeout huddle, she got high fives and praise by her team, and she had a smile on her face. Hey, I did contribute. Hey, yeah. we're going to do this. And, and right now, you know, well, I mean, those, she, those free throws are very, very, very important. And she knows it's not about her, right? right. She wants to contribute. So she's going to give 110%. She's had a huge impact on the defensive side. And, you know, outside shot now is really rough for her right now. But I help keep, keep shooting. But you want her to keep playing hard because she's going to be a key leadership position down the stretch. Well, and those, and those free throws show how mentally tough that Cammy is as a player. 
rough day shooting from the floor. R rough laps a couple games. One for seven today from the, from the floor, but stepping up. Absolute confidence and sinks both of them. All right. Underneath to where Good help, Double e. team. Wow. Oh. Man, Kai is just so oh, composed. So oh, that's not Hillary, good. Hillary went down. She's hurting there. Yeah. Can't tell. It's a knee. Is it the knee? Not sure. I can't see what she, or is it the face? I can't tell what she's, maybe the face and elbow. Yeah, that, the they, they both went down after the shot, and I don't know if she either stepped on Huerta's foot or they got tangled up. I, I thought it was her face, maybe, an elbow to the face. I don't know if we can have a replay. Man, you hate to see yeah. this, too. She's played so well today. and Oh, it, it is her knee. Knee, knee, knee or ankle. ankle? Yeah, I mean ankle. Okay, there we go. Yep. Jamie May and uh, the training staff here at Northwest Nazarene University are so, so good at what they do. Um, she has a brace on that knee, but, but Jamie went right to that ankle. Yeah, it's, I think it's an ankle. That's good to see her up and yeah. putting weight on the ankle. Yeah. Well, and rel relative to knee injuries, what? too, especially with that sleeve, and, man, she's, she's in pain walking off the court. Yep. She's so, she's so tough. Right. But she's a tough, tough young lady. It's ankle. Yeah, no, and I, you play in basketball a lot. You just know some ankles can tweak real quick, and so initially it's a lot of pain, but um, she'll want to get that ice. She's probably done for the day, obviously. Um, what we don't know is if she'd have been played longer earlier in the game, but um, what a phenomenal game. Hopefully she'll be okay yeah, her, just to can walk that off. Her teammates are high-fiving her and giving her yeah. encouragement. Phenomenal sure. effort yeah. today by Hillary. Absolutely phenomenal yeah. effort Coach today. Coach Steele's going to take a timeout here. Yeah, because they're going to come to a press, and obviously Hillary's one of their best ball handlers. So well, they does he get this advance? Out. When does, when does he get advanced uh, the ball? I don't think. How many seconds? I can't remember. I don't think you can. I'm not sure. I, I believe it's under a minute, but I would need to be fact-checked there. Yeah. So, again, here's a case where, really, with seven-point lead, I don't care if they're going to shoot the ball. Just hold the ball. They're going to foul you, you think. Uh, but, no, you can't have a turnover. That's the key. you got to get the ball right. off the court. They're going to be aggressive. And so let them foul you. You cannot give a turnover. So, it looks like they do get to advance the ball. And it's right in front of the Nighthawk bench. So I think that's what Coach Steele was looking at, that there wouldn't be that aggressive of a full court press. Yeah. Kate Clark. Keep it in Kate's hands. Yeah, there's yeah a, they're going to foul. Yeah. Hot stove right there, two hands on her. Well, these are, these are key free throws, as we talked yeah. about, making yeah. them down the stretch. The Nighthawks have made them, made them so far, and... Man, Emma is such a clutch player. Yeah, just, hard, hard, hard to imagine anyone else you'd want at the line here. Mentally so strong, key leader on this team. Just have loved having her at the university these years. So fun that our sisters have joined her along the way. Emma's first shot up and no good. It's all right. Good job, Noah. Thanks for the jinx. I said so far. A announcers, yeah, announcers, know. clutch meant, jinx. Though. All right, Emma will make this one. Yep, I agree. It's going in. Yep, there it is. Timeout by Central Washington, so they'll advance the ball as well. Again, here, there's no foul. I mean, contest right. everything. Kai or something, I want to shoot a three. And just, again, you let them, just don't foul. The key here, you know, let them, make them take a tough shot, and let's see what we can do. Now, we'll, we'll keep it here. Nighthawks again. You got called to a full. Get some, yeah. some, uh, full. some stats, Rob. They just called to a full timeout. I don't know, Anoa. Yeah, so as, as we talked about, Kendall and Hillary have been the, the – the wheels that have made this uh, this Nighthawks offense were they both on both ends of the floor, really. Hillary especially, you're not going to see it in the stats. She has three steals, but she's been active on much, much more than that. Man, Maddie Gabers, we talked about how skilled she is from behind the line, but her play on the defensive end today has just been absolutely stellar and frankly is, is one of the reasons why um, the Nighthawks have this eight-point lead late in the game. On the opposite end, man, Kai and Huerta have both got theirs. Kai especially, 26 points. Just so, so hard to guard. She's they've, so they've poised. They've got half their points, just the two players. Those two players have half their points. And we talked about before the game, they're high-volume scorers. Yeah. Um, but really, you know, Kai's got 26, but went out only with 15 and shooting 33% from the field. Um, and both incredibly skilled. But the Nighthawks have done a decent job at limiting them today, and that's why they're in the position that well, they're in. And I think the point is this. Like, they've taken so many looks the other teammates have not. So, right. I mean, again, we played, this is how good they are. We played phenomenal defense on, and Kai still got 26. That's how great players they are. Give Ken it to her. Give it to her. Yep, just yep. give it to her. Okay, no turnovers here. Go to See, Kendall. 
Yep. Reach in foul on Asher Kai. Again, that was a case where they were going to deny the three point shot, and then she goes to the hole, just let her go. And here again, making the free throws. Cammy's coming to the line. Again, get more con contribution she can make to this game. Twenty six point two seconds left in the ball game. Kanishka's first shot. No good. A little, little more legs there on that one, Noah. Kind of shot up there that much leg action. Bend those knees a little more. <clears throat> Cammy second offering up and good. Seven point ball game. Central pushing the ball up quickly. Easy basket for the Wildcats. Eyes up, eyes up. Yeah. That is, I think, Sunny Huerta's fifth foul. Mm, I think fourth. I think it. I think that is her fifth. Oh, we'll see. Oh, you guys are right. Stat books. It's okay. Counting's Boy. hard. Well, for old people, Noah. Well, yeah. Man, what a phenomenal game by, by Swanny Herta. We've been an absolute pleasure to watch her play today. And, uh, man, what a phenomenal athlete. Yeah, she's, um, she's been incredibly impressive oh, all day. Her, her composure, to be, the ability to go with her left, her right hand, she's had some tough, tough and finishes baskets, today. Yeah. And Which, she has made this phenomenal balance from the floor. Kendall Clark, first offering up and good. Yes, yeah, Sunny end today, 17 points, uh, four boards, four assists, um, 7 of 19 from the floor. And yeah. so really, really a very good performance from her. But the Nighthawks did a good job at, at limiting, or li limiting what she, can, what well, she could actually the, do. That's the irony, though. We played great defense on her, and she had a phenomenal game. So that's how, that's how great players are. Clutch, mm -hmm. clutch baskets there, free throws by Kendall, Coronado, to Capri Sims. Oh. oh, come on. Well, it's only her fourth foul. Yeah, and really not a very a pretty soft one if I'm if I'm being honest. Looked like yeah. Emma had more ball than anything else. To be honest, no, it actually doesn't hurt the Nighthawks at all. We have four, no. four fouls, but um, just fi find Kai is all I would say. Just watch Kai and get in her face. There she is underneath, left hand back to the right hand. Wow, off yeah. the glass. Didn't you mention something about going off the glass and having that be your friend? You're back towards <laughs> your friend. This there game's over. Yep. Come on, Shaughnessy. Oh, oh why? Come on, Shaughnessy. <laughs> you throw that ball up, this game's over. Well, it'll be an opportunity for Shaughnessy to get, get some free throws at the end of the game, stat pad a little bit. Well, again, it's only a five-point difference here. I mean, they've, we've done two for, two for one a couple times. So, again, the game's virtually over here, but I want to make these, at least one of these. And that's short. Well, I haven't seen many five-point plays before, so I think the, the Nighthawks might be okay. Well, that's because be you're a little young, you. my friend. Reggie Miller got a five-point play for you <laughs> before you were born. So Reggie Miller scored nine points in like 2.1 seconds Yeah, I was going to say, that was crazy. There it is. Final shot by <laughs> Coronado. No good. Nighthawks come away with a great victory on Alumni Day, and they're getting a standing ovation by your Nighthawk faithful, 74-68. Played a great, great basketball team at Central Washington. Great offense and also probably better defense yep. um, from the Nighthawks. Limited the turnovers. And then I'll tell you what, we hey, mentioned Rob, that Am I right that they had 22 points at halftime? Yeah. So they scored 46 yeah. in that half. So again, um, but again, I, I would say, I noticed this earlier, I would say in watching our games this year, one of the most complete games I've seen for four quarters, I think it took the, took the, the what they learned from that first half in Fairbanks, or Anchorage, excuse me, and just played a really solid effort today. Yeah, and really, really very balanced um, for the Nighthawks. Look at, looking at the, at the Wildcats, Kai ended with 30 points, and Nighthawks still able to come away with the win. Um, Hillary James, 17 points, three boards, six assists, three steals. What a game for her. Hopefully she's okay. Uh, Emma Clark, seven points, nine boards, two assists. Kami Kanishka got her own, five points, uh, three boards, and, and an assist. Maddie Gabers, nine points, eight boards, four assists, four blocks, all, all the way up and down oh, the stat man. sheet. Kendall Clark, leading scorer for the Nighthawks today, 22 points, six boards, two assists. Every single Nighthawk that touched the floor today scored. What a, t what a complete team yeah. effort from the Nighthawks. It was a great, so impressive. great effort today. And hopefully what can happen is that Nighthawks will take this victory into the weekend, get a little rest, come back for next week's games. But tonight, we finish with the men taking on Western Washington. Thanks for being with us. I'm Rob Adonio, Noah Peterson. 
Brent Peterson, have a great evening, and go Nighthawks. <laughs>